guys, Tammy here with Along for the Ride. Just unloaded a big grocery haul that I wanted to share with you. Um, this grocery haul is a little different than a normal grocery haul. I have in this grocery haul some pantry prep additions and I have also started doing bug out bags for the kids. So I bought a few things to go into their bug out bags. So let me show you what we got. All right, starting over here, we got a couple three pound bags of organic apples. The kids eat a lot of apples. Plus, we juice carrot and apples a lot. Um, I will link that video. I did a video on that, so I can link that card. A um, couple things of Go-Gurt. I buy the Simply Go-Gurt, just trying to get the kind with the no added colors, no added high fructose corn syrup. I know this isn't the healthiest one, but I feel like it's a little better than the other one. <clears throat> organic bananas, organic potatoes. We like the gold potatoes. And again, I am buying more apples and potatoes sometimes than we need um, down in our pantry. If you watch my prepper pantry video, I have a basket system where I am trying to rotate a basket to eat out of and then one for storage, hoping to have a surplus of fresh fruits and vegetables if possible. Back here we got some frozen chicken breasts. Um, I try to pay a little more and buy the organic. I just would rather spend a little more and buy organic if at all possible, whenever possible. Um, the chicken breasts back here in the box, this is the first time I've bought this brand. They didn't have, they were limited on the organic, so then I thought I would also try the P Purdue Harvest Land. They're all natural, no hormones or steroids added. No antibiotics ever. So, stocking up on chicken there. Big bag of broccoli. We eat a lot of broccoli with our meals. We do a sheet pan of broccoli quite frequently and the kids gobble it up. It's a great side dish. Two bags of tater tots. We eat a lot of tater tot casserole. And a quick easy way to do tater tot casserole is I batch cook burger. And if you look back at one of my grocery hauls, on one day I did a grocery haul and batch cooking where I showed where I made um, six pounds of burger in the crock pot. It's pretty easy bagged it up. That way I could quickly pull out something like tater tots, cheese, cream and mushroom, throw them together in a quick meal. Super convenient. Now we're moving over mostly to this side is all pantry preps. Um, we have plenty of peanut butter already downstairs but I'm still working on topping off our pantry and adding to it. I don't have to be as gung-ho as I was in the beginning so with each grocery order I am just adding in what I think we're a little short on. As you can see, I've got four cream of mushroom soups. We have quite a bit down there, but <clears throat> then again, we eat a lot of cream of mushroom soup and different recipes, so got four of those. Um, the Noor pasta sides, we're going through them pretty quick. I actually thought I had ordered more than two, but we've got a good stock of them down there, so I won't worry too much about that. The to-go Jif peanut butters are kind of tying into what I'm doing with the bug out bags. Over here, um, I have bought these little different flavors, Chef Boyardee, mini raviolis, mac and cheese, spaghetti and meatballs. I will do a future video. I plan to do a future video to show you what I'm doing, but I'm putting together bug out bags for our family. and. In the bug out bags, for now, I'm putting some of the items that I'm putting in the bug out bags are these Jif to go peanut butters, one of these easy open Chef Boyardees. Now, these bug out bags are supposed to be a 72 hour bug out bag, so you know, you got to keep in consideration, especially with children, the bag can get heavy real quick. So, I will do a more detailed video. On that, I'm just going to show you in this grocery order what I tossed into my Walmart pickup to add to our bug out bags. Um, I also added some ponchos to throw in each bug out bag. These were like a dollar something, under two dollars each, I think, at Walmart. So these are pantry additions and bug out bag additions. So back here, also, we've got some different little packets of oatmeal. These are great for the kids to grab on a quick breakfast. But I'm also building up a stock of oatmeal. And 
As a matter of fact, I will do a future video. I just did an Azure order. So I bought a couple containers of oatmeal for now, but on my Azure order, I did do, I think, a 25, a 25 pound bag of oatmeal. And I will do a more detailed video on that. In fact, this is the first Azure standard order we have done. So I'm kind of excited. It's going to be interesting. It's exciting to have somewhere else to buy groceries from. For instance, an alternative with the grocery stores. The shelves get bare. Not to mention, they have healthy alternatives, organic food, and excellent prices. So over here, more prepper pantry additions. Um, went ahead and took your guys' advice, and I am now buying the big cans of green beans. So I've got a couple of those. Some more Vienna sausages to add to our stockpile. Um, Cream-style corn, we were getting low on that. We have the regular corn, but my youngest son, Maxwell, loves the cream-style corn. So we finished off what little bit of cream-style corn we had on Thanksgiving. So I needed to replenish that stock. I bet you're wondering, Tammy, why is there vodka? Although, vodka would be a great... Vodka and any alcohol is a great pantry or, should I say, survival bartering item. But this particular bottle is for Mark's homemade vanilla. He's making another batch of homemade vanilla and needed more vodka. Although we are also setting back a little extra alcohol just because if things, well, if hashtag SHTF were to happen, alcohol has many great survival uses besides bartering. So that's something to think about. And then over here, we just have some pop just for a treat for the kids. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Weekly haul. Half of it is grocery haul. I went a little light this week because like I said, I also just did place a once a month Azure standard order. So I would love to get to once a month grocery shopping if I can. Um, I'm working there already, having this prepper pantry downstairs. And it's so nice to have a big stockpile of food like that and be able to do a lighter grocery order or even know that if you can't get to the grocery store, you have extra food. It gives you peace of mind. It's like an insurance policy for your family. So yeah, that's what we got going on here. Oh, I did fail to mention the Reynolds, the aluminum foil. That's just... Needed some more aluminum foil. I was getting low on that. I think I did fail to mention that the block cheese, and I've mentioned this in my other grocery hauls. We do enjoy grating our own cheese, so we buy this Tillamook. It's really good grated fresh. So guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a like. Consider subscribing to our channel, and I will see you in the next video.